What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Brandon. Normally I wouldn't share this content that you're about to see on this channel, but whereas we just did this toy hauler mobile welding rig makeover, I wanted to share with you guys so you guys could see everything on its first maiden voyage. We're traveling 1500 miles from central Maine to the border of Kentucky in Clarksville, Tennessee. And then we're going to stay for a few days then we're traveling back. Total mileage is about 3000. What you're about to see is pretty awesome. The trailer did great. We saw all kinds of incredible stuff, including we had some breakdowns, we had some problems, and we saw all kinds of cool stuff along the way. Some of it pretty amazing, and you'll see it in this video. So I wanna thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I hope you enjoy the maiden voyage of our trailer build. It'll get easier as you go. It's tough when you're five, isn't it? Got to learn how to do these things so when you get older, you, you know how things work and stuff. Keep going. Look. See, you're lowering it down. See how it's going down? You're doing a great job, Colton. Do you want some help? Nope. Okay. Now, push that hitch forward right here. Push this forward. Yep. There you go. That's locked on. Good job. Okay. Now what? Well, now we got to go all the way up with this. Do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? You're doing great. We have big trailer, We're gonna have to find a place at the hotel to park it. It's gonna take up a lot of room, isn't it? Okay, good. That's all of it. Okay, Can now put that hook back. On? Yep, put that padlock through it again. Like this? Yep. Right, nope, right through the hole up here. Okay. Can I have the keys? You don't need the key. Now just turn it and lock it. Make it line up. Yep. There you okay, you push with me, okay? There we go. Nice job. Do you want to check inside the trailer? Make sure everything's secured and ready to go? Okay. You just want to try out the potty, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty well loaded up in here, aren't we, Colton? I didn't put... There's only some wine in there. We got a lot of furniture. This thing is. How about there's only water? It's just a little water, yeah. Okay. It. Good job, buddy. You're yeah, New Jersey. You're 14 minutes to win. Oh, yeah. Hold on, we'll hold the door for me and hold on. There we go. We'll go unload this and then we'll go get something to eat, okay? They upgraded our room. Oh, Looking for 313. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, we just left Haskell, New Jersey from Central Maine and now we're en route to Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, we got 6 hours and 19 minutes left. Everything's working out well with the trailer so far, no issues. Everything is going great. It's a super peace of mind to be able to see everything that's going on inside the trailer. You can even see way in back there, um, we've got our clothesline across and we've got some of the uh, wet clothing uh, clipped up to that. So when we get into the uh, next hotel, all our wet clothes will be all dry. So this is a pretty good setup. I'm real happy with how everything is uh, working out for it. What does Colton think about all of this? You good with it? All right. We're in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania right now, and uh, we're at a fairly busy truck stop. Uh, you can see there's pretty much trucks everywhere as far as you can see, and I'm kind of parked a little illegally. You can see a truck behind me, another one right to the side of me, and one coming up behind me. But I'll tell you what, 
that camera system was super handy. Let me show you. This is the camera view I normally keep going down the road, but as I got here to back up, I just hit that button one time and that allows me to see the truck in behind me. So it made things a lot easier. We're currently somewhere in Virginia. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, yeah, we're just grabbing some gas and uh, everything's going good. Truck will just about pass anything but a gas station though. I'm getting now right around 12.9 miles per gallon. So not super great, um, but the trailer is really heavy right now. And you know, I'm not babying it. I'm in the passing lane the whole time. So I'm not gonna say how fast I'm going, but I don't pretty much get out of the passing lane, so. This might not be a good start to our night at the hotel. Pull your lip down so I can see it. Tooth Fairy's gonna have to come tonight, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yep. Back up and try it again. Second time's a charm. Maybe third time's a charm. Little cockeyed there. What the heck, Colton? When you backed up the truck, why'd you jackknife it? I did not for the second time. It looks like you did. I didn't do that. You must have done that. All right, let's get out of here. Safe trip tomorrow. And safe Cheers. trip. Cheers. Mm. All right. It's about to. I wonder if anybody came last night. Did the tooth fairy come? I forgot all about it. What is that? What is that? Fun There's a note. It says, Colton, I still found you. Tooth fairy. It drew a happy face with a tooth in it. Nice, Colton. What are you doing? Look at it. There you go. Whoa. Daredevil lunge right there. Colton wrecked his motorcycle. Stunting it. We made it. I'm in Clarksville, Tennessee. And uh, we got here last night, did all right. I was just looking the truck over. We haven't had any issues, but I had a gas can. Someone had a gas can blow out of their truck or it fell out of the back or something. And I ended up running over it on I-81 and we were clipping along and uh, I've got some sort of fluid up under the truck. And I don't know if it's from, from hitting the gas can or what, I'll show you. This is looking under the passenger side. And you can see everything's like dry. I looked up front by the transmission, those lines look dry. But it's got something that's wet right here. And there's a little dribble there. And right after it happened, this was all wet right along that bottom edge of the frame. And I pulled into a gas station and I wiped it off um, with a rag. And it doesn't look any worse, so I can't really I can't really tell problem is you can't check the transmission fluid on these things they don't have like a dipstick like they used to in the olden days I checked the engine oil before we left and uh, the engine oil was absolutely perfect right on full and uh, it's still on full so it almost smells like engine oil so I don't know I wiped it along it it looked like engine oil it smelled like engine oil fingers crossed maybe somebody just used that gas can to dispose of their used motor oil let's hope I'll tell you what guys, this porta potty right here, super, super valuable to be able to just pull off into a rest area that has a massive line and the bathrooms are all trashy and dirty looking. You can just come in here and do your own thing. There's no scent, nothing guys. Like this thing is great. We haven't um, tried number two in it, but it's great for number one, the men and the ladies. And we got all the furniture unloaded last night. And uh, yeah, so the trailer is going to go home a lot better, but we were getting just a little over uh, averaging 11 miles per the gallon. The closer we got, we started out at 13 and once we got into uh, 
Tennessee, closer to Clarksville with all the up and down roads. Uh, we were averaging, I think, 11.8. So not too great in tow haul mode, but this trailer was heavy, so. But yeah, guys, the weather here is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, uh, we're from Central Maine and we're in, you know, Clarksville, Tennessee. We're actually right on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. We're probably uh, maybe five minutes away from Kentucky. We'll definitely be back and we're gonna do uh, Tale of the Dragon with my wife and I. That'll be kind of fun. But for now, we'll just stick to riding around uh, locally just for a little bit. My uh, stepdaughter is going to watch our grandson for about an hour. And my wife and I are going to take a little relaxing time for ourselves one-on-one. -on -one. the back of the trailer and he wants to ride in it while I move around so we're done our trip guys uh, we've been down in uh, Tennessee we stayed down at um, my daughter's house for like three days and uh, now we're heading back home and we're taking our time heading back to Central Maine we're gonna do it over the course of uh, three days so that's like three different hotel stays curious to see what our gas mileage is gonna be like on the way back because now we're a lot lighter than we were uh, when we came here. We got all the furniture unloaded and uh, got it all set up into her new place right there. So yeah, she lives in a townhouse, pretty pretty sweet looking place. <laughs> so we're just cruising down the road and you can see the bikes, how smooth everything rides in the back. Not so much for the uh, the mount bounces a little bit just because of bumps and stuff but look how smooth the bikes are riding in the back that thing is just rock steady that trailer toes so nice oh airbag went off everything did it really yeah. <laughs>
Ready, Colton? Going to the light. Pretty cool, huh? And just like that, guys, we are back. We made it home safely. There was no problems whatsoever. So I'm super happy how this ended up turning out for us. It was a huge adventure. We had a ton of fun. And I can honestly say I wouldn't change a thing. And an update on the truck, I dropped it off to my local dealer, the guy that does my work, and uh, apparently I cut one of those CV boots when the uh, gas can came up, and I guess it's like spitting some grease, so they're going to fix that. So I guess could have been a lot worse, could have been a crack differential, so I saved myself a few hundred bucks, I guess. And apparently all that wetness underneath the truck is all the fluid film coming out because the temperatures were warmer down there. The only one additional thing that I did is I stopped at a local Home Depot once we got down to Tennessee. I picked up this tote and this just works great to strap this to the wall. It's just on there with some ratchet straps and we just take all our luggage and all our loose stuff and just set it right inside this without a lid on it and it worked awesome. That way we didn't have to like strap our luggage down or, or set it down. We kept the entire truck free from any of our luggage so it worked out really nice. And as far as this portable toilet, guys, this was a huge saver. We love it. And the mat that it's sitting on is actually like the tool mat that came inside this toolbox. For those of you that watched uh, the series on the trailer, you'll know that uh, I ended up using like rollout flooring that looks like this, but it's like a foam. It's almost like an anti-fatigue foam, and I just bought it cheap. Picked it up at one of the big box stores and uh, cut it and used it as drawer liner. And that mat right there just sits on the floor and uh, and it prevents, it's kind of, you know, it's th that tool stuff so your tools don't slide around. So I just set that on the floor and set the toilet on top of it. It never moved the entire trip. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And next week we will continue on with our welding videos. Until then, take care, stay safe, like, comment, subscribe. God bless. See ya.